sorry uh, for disturbance okay so next is what you need to find out the value of theta so theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 means theta 1 is for element 1 theta 2 for element 2 theta 3 for element 2 so for first element now this is your okay here your first element second element and this is your third element okay so for actually we have taken this node as a reference point x and y so for first element what will be the theta actually this first element it is parallel to the x axis okay so this first element is parallel to x axis so that's why the theta will become equal to zero so theta one for this first element is equal to zero now theta two uh, we need to find out theta two so this is your reference axis x and we need to find out the value of theta 2 means from this reference axis this element is like so we need to find out this value so if we if we know that okay this is nothing but theta 2 is nothing but 90 plus this angle alpha okay because this is 90 degree plus this small angle alpha you will get theta so find out alpha so alpha how to find out alpha as we know that this is equal to 400 I mean, this is nothing but your 400 ml mm. this side is equal to 400 this side is also equal to 400 so you will get alpha as tan alpha is equal to front side by front by and this side so 400 by 400 so alpha will become tan levels of 1 ok so alpha 1 become equal to 45 degree ok so from this diagram only we will get the value of alpha alpha is equal to 45 degree so theta 2 will become 90 plus 45 which is nothing but 135 so theta 1 is equal to 0 degree, theta 2 is equal to 135 degree and theta 3, now theta 3, so this element is inclined from this reference axis x, it is like this, so this is your theta, so theta 3 will become, so you need to find out the value of theta 3, so how by using this tan theta, tan theta is equal to front side, front side is equal to 400 divided by at the center side, at the center side is, it is nothing but equal to this is also 400 mm. so 400 by 400, so you will get theta 3 is equal to 45 degree so in this way you will get theta 3 equal to 45 degree ok, so in this way we determine the lens L1 and L2 and theta values, theta 1, theta 2, theta so or uh, to find out the values of theta, first we need to take one reference point of any node. As we have selected first node as a reference point, and from this reference point, we have determined our theta values. Okay, so in this way, we have determined our theta values. Now, next is what? As we know that E is common, which is nothing but 200 giga pass for each element is given. Or they have mentioned that this value of n modulus E is common. Now, next is what? Find out L. So L is nothing but L1 is nothing but cos theta. So for first element, theta is equal to 0. So cos 0, cos 0 is nothing but equal to 1. L2, L2 is equal to cos 135. So cos 135, if you find out this cos 135, you will get cos 135 and minus 0 0.707. Okay. Then cos 45, cos 45 is equal to 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 is nothing but 0 0.707. Then similarly find out M1, M2, M2. Now 
m one is nothing but sin theta. So sin zero, sin zero is nothing but zero. Now sin one thirty five, sin one thirty five is nothing but zero point seven not seven. Okay, then m three, m three is nothing but sin two thirty five, sin two thirty five is nothing but root one by root two, root two is nothing but zero point seven not seven. Okay, you need to find out all these values by using your tells. Okay, sin theta cos theta, sin forty five, sin one thirty five. Our <coughs> cross check on these values. Okay, then next is what L square. Now L square, one square is one minus zero point seven one seven square. Actually, it is equal to I think around zero point five. Then zero point seven one seven square is point five. Similarly, find out L square. Zero square is zero. Zero point seven one seven square is zero point five. Zero point seven one seven square is zero point five. Then finally, L n values of L n. So L into n, one into zero, we will get zero. Minus zero point seven one seven into zero point seven one seven, we will get minus zero point five. Then zero point seven one seven into zero point seven one seven, zero point five. So in this way, we have determined this table. We have constructed this table for let theta then small l small l means uh, cos theta sin theta as because we need these all values while constructing our elementary stiffness matrix. Now next thing is what? Next step is what? Find out elemental stiffness. Matrix. Okay, elemental stiffness matrix. Find out the elemental stiffness matrix for each element. Okay, so as we know that the free body diagram for this it will become this is your first element, this is your second element, and this is your third element. So as we know that at each node. There are two displacements for this truss element. Okay, in previous lecture we discussed all these things related to your degrees of freedom as well as your order of the global stiffness matrix. So at each element there are two displacement. Displacement in x direction u1, displacement in y direction v1. This is your node one. A displacement in x direction is nothing but u1. Displacement in y direction is nothing but v1. Similarly, for this displacement in x direction, it is nothing but u2. Displacement in y direction, it is nothing but v2. Because for truss element, we have converted our local system to global system while converting. We come to know that there are there must be two displacement in x direction as well as in y direction. So at each node. There must be two degrees of freedom. At each node, there must be two degrees of freedom. And order of the global stiffness matrix will become number of nodes, number of nodes into degrees of freedom at each node. So number of nodes is equal to three degrees of freedom at each node. It is equal to two. So order of that global stiffness matrix will become six. So six by six matrix should be there for your global global stiffness matrix. Order it six by six. Okay. So for third element, this is your U three, and this is your V three. Okay. So in this way, we will uh, first we will find out. Elementary stiffness matrix for each element. Then we will construct our global stiffness matrix. Here only your order of that global stiffness matrix will become six by six. Okay. So now, so first find out elemental stiffness matrix. Okay. So find out elemental stiffness matrix. I will find out here. So here we actually we got all these. Values from the table, so we don't need this diagram. So first, 
first find out elemental stiffness matrix. First one is K1. K1 is nothing but A1 E1 by L1 into this L square LM minus L square minus L. So this is your elemental stiffness matrix. General elemental stiffness matrix. Actually, we have derived this A by. Okay. Now we will calculate or we will determine the first elemental stiffness matrix for this structure. So first, K1 will become A1 into E1 divided by M. As A1 is equal to A1. Actually, we know that from this diagram, A1 is equal to 1500 mm squared. So, A1 is equal to 1500 into E. E is given like that. E is equal to 200 gigapascal. So, E we will convert it into Newton per mm squared. So, 200 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm squared. So as we know that in example, the load is, load is given in kilonewton, 150 kilonewton. Okay. So at third node, no, uh, load force equal to 150 kilonewton it is given. So we will take this E also in kilonewton per mm squared. So E will become 200 kilonewton per mm because this force value it is given in kilonewtons. So we will take this as a 150 and this E is equal to 200 kN per mm squared. So E will become 200, 200 kN per mm squared. Okay. So this 100, 100 into E is nothing but 200 divided by L, this L1, for first element L1 is equal to 800 into now L square is what from this table L square is equal to 1 L m is what from this table L m is equal to 0 minus L square means L square is equal to L square is equal to what 1 so minus 1 minus L m L m is equal to 0 then next L m L m is equal to 0 m square m square is equal to what m square is also for first element for first element m square is equal to 0 m square is equal to 0 minus lm for first element lm lm is what 0 so this is equal to 0 then minus m square m square for first element is 0 so this is also equal to 0 then minus l square l square is what for first element l is l square is what 1 l square is 1 then minus ln, ln is 0. Sorry, minus l square. If l square, when your l square is equal to 1, but it is minus, so it is equal to minus 1. 0. Then l square is equal to 1. ln is 0. ln is 0. m square is equal to, it is also 0. ln is equal to 0. l square is equal to, it is also equal to. In this way, you will get first elemental stiffness matrix. So finally, this will become equal to. So if we simplify this, so uh, so 15 to 25, 15 to 5, 75, 5 to 15 to 375, 375 into. 
this matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, then minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So finally, you will get k1. Finally, you will get k1 as so k1 is equal to by multiplying 375 to this matrix, you will get k1 as Three seventy five zero minus three seventy five zero 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 minus three seventy five zero three seventy five zero then finally zero 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 okay so in this way you will get first Elemental stiffness matrix for first element. Now we need to write down the connectivity of that elemental. So we know that this first element it is in between node 1 and node 2. Okay, so for this we know it is between u1, v1 and u2, v2. So we need to write down the connectivity of that elemental. So it will become u1 v1 u2 v2 similarly u1 v1 u2 v2 because we need this connectivity by constructing our global stiffness matrix so in this way you will get first element of stiffness matrix now similarly we need to find out second element of stiffness matrix now second element of stiffness matrix is area a2 a1 equal to A2 is equal to 2000 times 2000 mm and square. And the value of A it is same 200 kN per mm square. So find out K2. So K2 will become equal to A2 A2 divided by L into this matrix. Okay, so A2 is equal to what? A2 will become A2 is equal to 2000 into 200 divided by L2. L2 is equal for second element, L2 is 565.6 M. Now, next, similarly write down the element of stiffness matrix for second element. So, L square, L square is what? For second element, L square is actually we need only these values. Okay. So no need to if we erase this. And if we write L square, M square, and LF here itself only. Minus 
माइनस पॉइंट फाइव एल इज वॉट माइनस पॉइंट फाइव एम स्क्वायर इज वॉट पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कंस्टर ग्लोबल सिक्स मैट्रिक्स सो ओके टू क्रॉस चेक वेदर दिस मैट्रिक्स इज करेक्ट और नॉट मीन्स हाउ वी हैव एक्चुअली पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज हियर फ्रॉम दिस टेबल सो टू क्रॉस चेक चेक वेदर दिस मैट्रिक्स सिमेट्रिक और सिमेट्रिक और नॉट If this matrix is symmetric, then your answer is correct. So check. This is your diagonal. So first minus point five point five minus point. Here also minus point five point five minus one. So this term it should be minus one. L n. This term is L n. Right. L n is equal to minus one. So it should be minus one. So if it's symmetric, it is usual to check. Whether this is correct or not. So here in this way we can correct. Okay. So minus point five point five minus one minus point five point five minus one. Okay, exactly. Now minus point five minus one minus point five minus one. It is correct. Now point five. Okay. It means this is now the correct one. Okay. So find out this value. This value. E two is equal to two thousand into two hundred divided by five hundred sixty point five in five hundred sixty point five. So you will get this value equal to this the value. It is equal to three fifty three point two five. Three fifty three point two five. So three fifty three point fifty. Sorry, sorry. Three fifty three point fifty five. It is not equal to. Seven not seven point five. Seven not seven point one zero. So if we if we multiply this value to this matrix, you will get K two as here I am writing this K two. K two is equal to if we multiply this value to this matrix, you will get three fifty three. Three fifty three point fifty five. Okay, minus three fifty three point fifty five. Minus three fifty three point fifty five. Plus three fifty three point fifty five. Then minus three fifty three point fifty five. Three fifty three point fifty five. Three fifty three point fifty five minus three fifty three point then minus three fifty three point fifty five three fifty three point fifty five three fifty three point fifty five minus three fifty three point fifty five and finally three fifty three point fifty five. Minus three fifty three point fifty five. Minus three fifty three point fifty five. Plus three fifty three point fifty five. So in this way, you will get this matrix. Okay, four by four elementary stiffness matrix. Okay, so now we need to also we need. For this matrix, as we know that the connectivity for this matrix. Okay. This is your U two. This is your V two. This is your V three. And this is your U three. So second element, it is in between node two and node three. So connectivity will be U two V two, U three V three. So connectivity U two V two, U three V three. U two V two U three V three. So in this way, 
you will get second order stiffness matrix. Okay. Now, for third elemental stiffness matrix, this is K1, first elemental stiffness matrix, this is K2, second elemental stiffness matrix. Now, third elemental stiffness matrix is K3. K3 is equal to K3 into T3 divided by L3 in bracket. Now, L square is what for third element? 0.5. Ln is what? 0.5 Minus L square is minus 0.5 Minus Ln is minus 0.5 Similarly Ln is what? Minus 0.5 Ln is what? Minus 0.5 Sorry, minus Ln This is positive Because this Ln is equal to minus 0.5 Minus is minus 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 0.5 then ln is what minus 5 m square is what m square m square is what m square is what 0.5 then minus ln minus ln is what sorry, sorry, sorry. actually we have taken this value so minus 0.5 okay, we will repeat this from first step so first, L square is what? 0.5 minus, sorry, Ln is what? 0.5 minus L square, minus L square is minus 0.5 minus L, minus L is minus 0.5 similarly, Ln is what? 0.5 M square is what? 0.5 minus Ln is what? minus 0.5 minus L square is what? minus 0.5 Minus L square is what? Minus 0.5. Minus Ln minus 0.5. L square is 0.5. Ln is 0.5. And minus Ln is minus 0.5. Minus L square is minus 0.5. Ln is 0.5. L square is L square is 0.5. Okay. So in this way, you can construct your third elemental stiffness matrix. So for this uh, A3 is what? 2000. Same 2000 into 200 divided by 565.8. So it is actually same. So its value is 707. Point, uh, one zero, I think. If we divide it to 2, 3, 2, matrix so cross check whether this is symmetric or symmetric or not point five minus point five point here point five minus point five point minus 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 and minus minus it is symmetric okay I want to try so finally k3 k3 is equal to seven or seven point one into this matrix so finally you will get k3 equal to k2 become so this k3 it is nothing but this into this is 3.5 so 3 3.5 3.5 minus 3.5 minus 3.5 then 3.5 minus 3.5 minus 3.5 minus 3.5 minus 3.5 
Uh, up to this stage, uh, we conclude our lecture here. Okay, thank you.